It is Let's Talk. Is let's talk. Call in radio. This Woo-hoo. sorry, getting to, <laughs> <laughs> getting to the root causes of issues that affect us all. This on the air community forum believes your voice matters and welcomes all thoughts and views without judgment. Please join today's conversation by calling 415 663 8492 or 8317. Um, when you do call in, and we are hoping you will, uh, you'll hear a little noise as I put you in the system. Uh, wait until you hear me say, you're on the air, and then give us a name. Turn down whatever you're listening to. Turn down the volume. And please keep the language clean. This is a live on-air show, so... Uh, We need to keep it very clean and nice. And in the studio today, I'm Paul Raphael. Stephen Hurwitz is here. Feeling virtuous. Of course. (laughs) (laughs) How could I not? Shelley Rugg. Hello, everyone. And special guest star, guest starring M.K. Chandler. Hello. Good morning, everybody. (laughs) All right. Thrilled to be here. Savoring the delights of the Southland. Ah, yes. It's so so wonderful. MK is one of our regular callers. Right. Nobody's so. going to call now because... Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> Caller's here. <laughs> I don't know. He'd probably be pretty tantalizing today, Paul. Tantalizing, Tantalizing perhaps. in our virtue. In our virtue. Yes, we're talking about today. Today's topic is virtue signaling. and uh, Like when you turn on your blinker? Uh, perhaps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's very virtuous. If Use your, <laughs> your turn signal. If you're just turning it on to get a- approval from your fellow drivers, perhaps. Oh. Ah. Ooh, that was good. But um, as, as you wrote to me after I said, oh, this is what we're going to be talking about, you wrote back and said, I don't know what that is. Right. And nor did I. I didn't know what it was week. either. Yeah, Never heard of it. There you go. So uh, virtue signaling. Um, I, uh, I, I an article came across came into my inbox about uh, about virtue signaling, and I think, well, what is that? And uh, here we are. Here's Wikipedia's version of it: Virtue signaling is a pejorative neologism. Neologism. I don't know what that means. Uh Uh-oh. I get my dictionary. New word. Okay. (laughs) It's a pejorative new term for the conspicuous expression of moral value. The conspicuous expression of moral values. Mm. Um, The origination of the term is often credited to journalist James Bartholomew, a conservative journalist, by the way, which is part of the... Part of the thing with virtue signaling from an article in the Spectator in 2015. He's always every time he writes, he says, "Oh, I invented this term," but it was, of course, in use before that. But oh. anyway, he thinks he invented it. The phrase has been criticized. Part of his virtue signaling, perhaps. Exactly. <laughs> Look how good I am at <laughs> creating terms. Yes. The phrase has been criticized by a number of journalists internationally as being hypocritical itself. Mm. So what is it? It's about um, people who uh, who are really praising themselves for their, say, political or moral values and gaining approval as a way to fit in with their group, perhaps. Can you give us examples? Well, let me give an example. 
um, oh wait, I, I, I can actually. I have a uh, I have a thing that uh, has a list of. Uh, oh dear, carry on among yourselves for a moment. This is going to happen quite a lot because. Uh, <laughs> You know, nobody here knows trick anything question. about this. It was a trick question. <laughs> uh, Twelve examples of virtue signaling. Here we go. All right. Uh, the conspicuous communication of moral values and good deeds. The term has negative con- connotations as it is commonly used to denote virtuous actions and statements are motivated by a desire for social status and self-satisfaction. The following Sorry, are illustrative of examples. Persuasion. It's often used as a form of persuasion... Oh, for example, a public speaker who happens to mention they just flew back from helping earthquake victims before giving a speech about design innovation. So reinforcing his his morality by bringing in something that has nothing to do with what he's going to talk about, but he just kind of drops that in there. Oh yeah! By the way, I was. I am a good. Shine him up. And I'm a he, good guy. He might be a good guy, and he might have been doing wonderful things. By the way, there are more people working right now. <laughs> I mean, the, the president. What, seems what, to, is, what does that have to do with this, what we were the just president talking about? seems to drop oh. that in just uh, about well. anyway. Oh. Well, virtue signaling from the <laughs> from the White House. Yes, uh, a failure to act in a way that aligns to your stated virtuous belief. So, hypocrisy is a part of it. Uh, conspicuous conservation: the purchase of products that signal a virtue, such as care for the environment, out of a desire for social status. For example, a consumer who only purchases cosmetics that haven't been tested on animals and often states this fact to friends. So, mm. it's about advertising. Your morality in that case. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I'm having trouble with this concept, yeah. to be honest with you. Okay. I, as I say, I didn't know anything about it until. What's the, four what's days the ago. particular trouble you're having? Well, it seems to me that if we. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, censor myself and not pass on anything to people that I consider important? Uh, you know, well, if I say I'm buying, uh, I'm buying cosmetics. Uh, it might be important that people know that I think that's, uh, you know, that's the thing to do. It's what's wrong with saying that? It's like talking about your recycling habits and what's wrong with recycling. Well, there are some things wrong with recycling, but uh, but I guess the the difference is when you uh, it's yeah. just degrees of making a big deal about it. It's a very nebulous concept, and I have to say it's mostly from right wing. Uh, commentators. Well, politically correct is also from exactly. Yeah, yeah. I I think that that um, we are being shuffled into um, silence because mm. of the political correctness. Because you can't say anything without you know mm. insulting somebody in some way, and so you're just going to sit around and look at your phone and mm. look and see who liked what on. Fa- you know, it's just. The, it's, a, it's an awful trap we seem to be getting ourselves into. Mm. Well, take that like on Facebook, though. It, is that a, virtual, is that a uh, virtuous signal? Sometimes. Well, I, I, that could be. I mean, if uh, you, you can hit everything that, I don't know. Yeah, hitting the like button on Facebook, for example, on, uh, on uh, care for the homeless. So you hit the like. like, you hit the like button, and you feel like I've you've done, done something. I've done something. Unless they say, "I know that only my really true friends will like this." You know, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's gonna clickbait. Get, gonna guilt you, guilt you into. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you like this, you'll post it. Yeah. Right. 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 You'll share. Otherwise, you're a heartless, heartless human. Yes. Human. Humanoid. Maybe that's a signaling, virtuous signaling, right there. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's probably part of it. And there's, uh, there are some, uh, I've noticed some people who are Facebook acquaintances, <laughs> certainly <laughs> not friends, who uh, almost every day are posting things about basically how wonderful they are and how they work for the betterment of humanity. It's a, it's a, it's like a daily ritual for them to. They have one room like, in their house where they sit when they're doing this because yeah. it's all shiny and well, it's, w- bright and beautiful, and in the rest of the house is all the stuff that's <laughs> coming out of the furniture. Nice picture painting, MK. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it, 
it kind of there's one person especially who kind of crosses the line almost every day uh, about uh, things like I'm always thinking about the the troubles of other people and I feel and I feel great about how my life is going. Oh, something like that. But it's, uh, it's like it's, positive it's, affirmations. It's like positive affirmations every day, and yet it comes across to me slightly uh, misanthropic person that I am. Right. That uh, that's, uh, this, I must this be affirmation a very thing is actually and patting someone on some, than oneself on the back. Okay. Uh, Frankly, I'm staying on my roller coaster. <laughs> Because <laughs> I like the roller coaster. I'm ah. used to it. <laughs> up and down. Yep. Well, I know it's uh, it's it's used kind of like what you were saying about the speaker who said, "I just got back from feeding the homeless and right. and buy my product." You know, so uh, it's it's used as a tool in in some some companies that manufacture products. Um, buy a pair of Tom's shoes. Tom's is probably one of the most famous yeah. for this. You buy a pair of Tom's shoes, and you're putting shoes on a poor person's feet mm. at the same time. Mm. And so not only is Tom's the good guy, but the buyer is also a mm. good guy mm. for buying Tom's shoes. Mm -hmm. See, I don't think – I don't see anything wrong with saying that because uh, if I'm willing to make a commitment to Tom's, uh, why can't I make a commitment to ask other people to, to do the same thing? Mm. You know, if I believe, if I well, believe, you know, I might not buy Tom's otherwise. I'm buying it for mm -hmm. the for the. Uh, it's a twofer for me. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm just noticing that that you know there's this this sense that the virtue signaling is a bad thing, and maybe, you know, it depends. Well, so uh, Jeffrey Miller, who is one of my favorite evolutionary psychologists, thank you, Jeffrey, for everything you've written. Um, he says it's unavoidable. It's just part of human nature, the signaling of all kinds of things, of, right. of uh, physical and moral and bravery and whatever, nurturing, whatever. We signal everything, and uh, there's no way we can get around I it. I agree with that. Yeah. That, uh, you know, it's just part of us as animals. Uh, give us a call, won't you? 415 6638 for a nine a, a two. Well, I guess in a way, you know, by signaling your virtues, mm. you're uh, also signaling to like-minded people. You yes. know, join me, come together with me. Yes. we're all virtuous together. Right. Um, uh, here's the guy James Bartholomew, who, of course, mentions in this article in 2018 that he invented this term. Um, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Apparently, he does it in everything he writes. Uh, he's <laughs> a little virtue signaling, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, often, this is done by expressing anger and outrage. People will say, "I hate Trump," to indicate that they are the right sort of person who abhors things that Trump has said and done. I saw a poster at the front of a house recently saying, "Love Trump's hate." Implicitly, the householder believes in love and opposes hate, which means they are declaring themselves to be a good person. But note that they have declared their goodness. With Without doing anything, they, they put, put a, a sign. sign. They bought a sign. <laughs> <laughs> they took a position. I think. Where is the so, Yeah, well, so taking a position in this uh, atmosphere, in this divided but, political atmosphere, you know, having a sign on your lawn is actually. Uh, what are they supposed well, to do? Well, it's communicating, well, right? So well, we share ideas. People have in their windows in Seattle, and I suppose here too, is that that you know all life is wonderful. Everybody's you know not just one. Mm. Thing is, it's good. Blah blah blah. Water is life. Everybody's welcome. You know, they're all over the place. Boy, not a, I haven't seen those. Are you? In the, in not the around bear? here. Yeah, no? there are lots and lots of them. In the, mm. I've yeah. seen things kind of like that in the window of the bookstore. Uh, sometimes w there'll be a, a little sign in the window that just has a comment that is is reflective of some kind of current state of angst and mm. yeah, and yeah, that's what it is. Um, you know. We hate immigrants, uh, but the sign might say, uh, all are welcome here. Mm. All are safe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's in opposition to the negativity. So Al-Qaeda comes up and pitches a tent in your backyard, starts communicating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, good. We're all welcome. Oh, boy. Um, I think in fairness that... that um, that lots of times I've liked things on Facebook, not because I love them, you know, but, yeah. but because whoever 
posted it. Yes. I hadn't heard from her about in a long time, and then I get in touch with them. You know, it's mm. not always, you know, self-aggrandizement, mm. or if that's the right word. Uh, social media is certainly a way in which uh, all kinds of things can be declared uh, strongly, and uh, there's no way to tell if you're actually doing anything more than just or if you're blathering a robot, you know. or well, you know, or if you're a troll, yeah. yeah, or a dog. You just <laughs> don't know who's behind that <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, greenwashing is, the, uh, is uh, not the case with Tom's, I'm guessing. Greenwashing? I, What's that? Well, it's when uh, companies, Whole Foods used to have signs out front of their, they don't even bother anymore because <laughs> there's more conventional foods than there are organics now. Uh, th- thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Amazon. Uh, but the, uh, they used to have these signs out front saying what a great company they are and why they're, uh, you know, they're saving the world, basically. Well, if they do business with local businesses, shouldn't they say? I mean, they have signs out there that that's, they're supporting local. That's I good. I, they used to have uh, pictures of all the local ranchers and farmers. They yeah, don't do so that anymore, if, either. If you're a consumer yeah. who cares about that, then you'll know yeah. you're in an, an alignment when you shop there. Yeah, it's like the Whole Foods Club that you belong to. Exactly. Suddenly that's the word I was the group. right on my tongue. Yeah. Club. Yeah. Uh, Club. Can you be a member of the Safeway Club? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> it is a Safeway Only club. if you go to the other ones, too. The <laughs> IGA and the, the Piggly Wiggly and the Fred Meyer and whatever else you have. Oh. Probably don't have those here. We don't have those here. <laughs> hey, you know, in case the listeners are wondering, this is Let's Talk, and we're talking about virtue signaling. Virtue signaling. And we would love for people to call in yes, and, and get in the conversation with us. Please, because we're running out of things to say. 663-8492 or 663-8317. We want to know how you signal your virtues. Ooh. <laughs> or do you feel your virtue signaling? You know, you talk about signaling, though. I think the, uh, what's the difference today than uh, than other times is that uh, the Internet has has turned us all into publishers. Mm-hmm. You know, we now have power that we never had before. We can meet, we can We can reach... Much uh, more people and much uh, farther than ever before. And, uh, you know, so because of that, uh, people have something to say. And uh, it could be just something that's delightful that's happened to them Mm -hmm. or it could be something important uh, that's going on in the world. So I just think it's inevitable uh, that and. um, Yeah, especially with social media. Mm. It's kind of what it's all about in, in some ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can state your your strong position. Your position, position yes. Um, In we, a restaurant, am I virtual? If I said no, I don't want, uh, I don't eat meat. To the waitress. Well, now that uh, has been leveled at the vegan revolution that's happening. That uh, you know they're all setting themselves up as, but but they're saving the planet. Uh-huh. Whereas everyone else, all the omnivores, are killing are killing the planet. Uh, that's the kind of thing that that attracts the term virtue signaling from mm-hmm. uh, from people who are not vegans. Yeah, I have a friend who's uh, she's an animal care person. She she talks to the animals, you know, and all that. She's a healer. Um, she's vegan, and she's somewhat um, what do you call that? Vociferous. <laughs> That's a lovely Mil- word. Militant. Militant. She's somewhat yeah. militant about. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. And so the the virtue signaling often shows up as if you do this you're a horrible person. Right. <laughs> Yeah, right. right. And that's just uh, what everybody wants to hear. I feel like yeah, it's kind of a, right. a a a less than charming approach to to getting people to come over to your side, you know. Look at this hor- yes, horrible true. picture of how they treat the animals. Right. <laughs> Look at this little lamby's face. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, oh, so you know, social media definitely has given up, like you said, Stephen, it's given people a forum that's accessible by the entire world. So, mm-hmm. you know, it can give you a feeling like, well, people need to know about this, so I'm going to tell them. Yeah, and when <laughs> it's couched in terms like, 
you're all evil because you're doing this <laughs> thing that I don't like to do. So I guess it's the implication oh, of how vegans, you say it. Did vegans uh, drink their mother's milk, I wonder? Well, you, Ooh, you would. You, they have blood? you would drink your your sure, own mother's milk because that's normal. But to drink cow's milk is is not certainly abnormal. Yeah. And you know you it's not meant you're, for us. You're it really isn't ruining actually. the the <laughs> lives right. of that mother and child mm-hmm. cow because the the baby cow ha- is removed immediately from the mother and kept. Now, see, here's my virtue yeah. signaling. No, it no isn't. this is information. It's oh, okay. what the show is all about. So the baby's taken away from the mother. They take them away from the mother immediately, sure. and then they have to put them in... Weaning at birth? Yes, no. they have to yeah. put them in yeah, separate terrible. pins because they didn't get the colostrum. Right. Uh, the they're, antibodies. They, don't, they didn't develop the antibodies, so they're really susceptible to disease. So they can't even be with the other baby calves. They have to be completely isolated. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it's them? really sad. They don't even let them have the colostrum? No. Wow. Well, and it's bad for the mothers, too. Yeah. You know? And it breaks their heart. I there mean, you go. You know, and so Excellent. part of it is how we perceive animals, right? If we see the animal as a food product... We don't care about their break, broken heart because we don't think of animals that way. Mm. And um, we wait until it's wrapped up in plastic in right, the supermarket. Right, right. Don't have a personal attachment to but it. But if you want to really see a, see how meat happens, watch Chef's Table on Netflix. Mm. Uh, there's there's several episodes where you see the butchering. Mm. Um, I stumbled upon. I was uh, just cruising around on YouTube and stumbled across a. Uh, a pork slaughterhouse. Mm. Don't. Eat. <laughs> Do not. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. My Do vegan friend, there. she posted a, a video showing baby piglets mm. that were basically going down a, a path to being killed. Mm. Mm. And they knew it, so their bodies were shaking mm. violently. Yeah. And um, so that's the point, I mm-hmm. guess, is mm-hmm. that animals do have feelings, even if we don't. We want to say they don't. Well, I think sometimes we go overboard on the animals having feelings. I'm sure they do. Yes, I know they do because I've had lots of animals, and I know they do. But um, hello, what? Speak into Keep the talking. microphone. Keep okay. talking. Okay, I've lost my train of thought completely about mm-hmm. animals' feelings. And that they you you yeah, raised well, animals. Yeah, well, people people go so far as that that they have you know, like the 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 animal is more human than animal, and I think that sort of short short changes the animals too. Oh, that's about. interesting. Well, you know, I I think I'm sure you're right uh, about a lot of animals, but I think that what we're discovering is that. Uh, they're a lot smarter than we've given them credit for in the past. Are, well, I think yeah. that it's maybe more instinctive. If, if that's a kind of smarts that human beings seem to be tr- getting trained away from, I <laughs> you have to have everybody tell you how to do everything because you're so r- detached from detached your, from your own self that you can't figure it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're talking yes. about virtue signaling today on, <laughs> or whatever we want to talk about. Well, you about. know. Just call in, won't you, 415-663-8492. Tell, talk about anything. So does the call inten- us up. maybe intent, intention has something to do with it, or how you say it, how it's um, Certainly how it's, presented. how it is couched. Yeah. And, uh, Other than thou kind of. I, yeah, exactly. And isn't that part? That's part of the problem everyone has with social media is that you you hate things, right? You, I hate all these things, and it's it's contributing to this polarity that's just. They don't have a hate thing, ridiculous. though. They have angry. Yeah, they have all the, the, the emotions little gre- there. Little like, purple Arr. demon face. Like, but you can, uh, you know, people say whatever they want to say and say it in the strongest possible terms well, because they get more yeah. clicks or whatever. Well, and it's know. also because it's social media, there's that disconnect from reality to a certain degree. Hmm. I won't tolerate, though, uh, people that use abusive language uh, on my posts. I mean, I delete those those comments. Uh, I, it's just not the place for... Um, to attack someone personally. I've mm-hmm. been attacked personally, and it's, um, I think it's, well, it's, 
It says more about the person that is attacking you than me. But uh, so I might point that out. So you should leave it up there. I, well, <laughs> yes and no. It depends. If it continues, I will ditch it. Um, yeah. It's a it's that double edged sword. They don't come across some people doing that don't come across as being don't f- uh, un- particularly them. smart. Yeah, sometimes though it's it's more that they aren't your Facebook friend, but you are commenting on someone else uh, who is a friend, and this oh. person happens to be uh-huh. oh, I see. friend my, of a friend. Yeah, that's I don't. Hard, that's hard to work. My with. friends are not like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, uh, Tom Yarish sent an email. He says, why are we worried about virtue in any event when we generally do our best slash worst deeds without posturing? The greatest most, uh, this is in quotes, the greatest most successful crimes are committed in the light of day. The lesser ones we may never know about must much less appreciate. Uh, and under every virtue, there is an archival basement membrane of ignominious thoughts. There you go. Tom, wow. you're going to have to call and explain <laughs> he that. He explained us, didn't he? <laughs> Ign- ignominious means unfortunate? Uh, ignominious means uh, uh, sort of... Uh, I think of an ignominious end. Yeah. It's, somebody did it's, the... Yeah, unfortunate is certainly a part of that. Ignominious, uh, shaming, um, mm. uh, shame or shameful or yeah. something. It's not good anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some nasty good. little thoughts. <laughs> uh, and we're talking today. Call in 415-663-8492. We're talking about virtue signaling, which none of us knew anything about until... Maybe three days ago. And we still don't know. <laughs> right. And, and is it care? actually a th- This is that's the thing. The, is it actually it. a care. thing? Yeah. Is it actually yeah. a thing? I don't know if it's a I mean, thing I think, that we I don't, need to I worry don't about. Think, I don't think it's a thing. I think it's a, it's a, a phrase that's going to get shuffled. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's trying to make a thing out of it. That's their virtue signaling. Yeah, James Bartholomew is certainly making a thing out of it. A conservative uh, columnist from uh, England. Because it seems like we we signal all kinds of things to each other. It seems to me that a lot of people don't have enough to do. <laughs> well, and you know, and they so they, they have okay, to coin today, a term. Today, I'm going to coin a term. I'm going to make a big noise about it. <laughs> My virtue signaling is about to come out. Yeah, um, there's a here's an article about uh, in defense of virtue signaling. It shouldn't be vilified. It's just part of human interaction, and it has a picture of two. Uh, I guess they're actors. I don't know who they are, and one of them is holding a little sign with a handwritten sign saying refugees welcome and the other one is a woman with a low cut dress and it's across her chest is in felt tip or something says let them in uh so that would that, i guess that's being taken as an example of virtue signaling is that you're literally <laughs> signaling, <laughs> oh, but you're, you're just there holding like jane up a thing. fonda and her red coat showing up at all of the protests have they right? have they uh taken any refugees into their house i don't know anyway mm. it's not about that really it's about uh, expressing political thoughts and uh is that all they're doing they, is that all the extent of their thing who knows maybe they're i think these two sufficient. people are doing wonderful things i think it's sufficient though uh uh, Trevor Noah asked uh, Greta, um, you know, what we should be doing. And she said, uh, raising awareness. So I feel that uh, if you just, if you pass the word, if you get more and more people to think about a subject, etc., I think that in itself is doing something important. And if we've learned something from uh, Trump is that, you know, the more you repeat information, the more it sticks in the head. Mm. Especially if you say very, very before it. Or tremendous. Greta, really great. Greta's message is so positive. And I think we're not used, at least positive, to, to those of us who believe in climate change. Um, um, but we're so used to hearing negative things that when something like that comes along, it's a compl- in a completely different light, really. And, and uh, that, I think, was astonishing to a lot of people. You know, I don't think we believe in climate change. You use that word, but I actually don't think we do because if we did, we'd actually be doing some serious, serious changes in our lives uh, if we actually believed they were at, that we're at a precipice. I believe that I believe that we are at a precipice, but I don't know what to do. 
It's a very overwhelming uh, prospect for sure. I mean, I do everything in my own small life that that is a you know the greenest and the cleanest and the very small carbon footprint kind of deal. But um, well, people, some people would say it's a trap for uh, for us to think that that we're going to make a big change by our uh, small acts. Uh, that really the change has to come from uh, these the twenty five men who uh, who control the fossil fuel companies. I mean, 25 people can make a huge difference. Only 25. Wow. If they decided that this was um, of utmost importance. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. the fossil fuel thing is huge, and it's overwhelming, and it's, you know, got tentacles over the entire planet. Mm. Oh. And war is involved, and... Let's hear from the underwriters. <laughs> this is KWMR 90.5 in Point Reyes Station. And KWMR is supported by Gallery Route 1, proud to nurture and promote er- emerging and established artists and to support KWMR. Artist run Gallery Route 1 believes that art serves the cultural, political, and environmental concerns of the community. Open every day except Tuesday. Information at 415. 415- Five six six three one three four seven and online at gallery route one dot org or route one dot org I suppose. KWMR encourages listeners to be prepared for an unforeseen emergency by keeping a battery powered or hand cranked radio in your home and car to stay in touch and informed. And a reminder if the power goes out, your car radio will still do the trick. Unless you live at my house. Oh. It don't work. Can't either. get a signal. Rotary Club. We are supported by our listeners and by Rotary of West Marin, a leadership organization supporting community projects locally and globally in support of a world where people unite to create change. Guests, welcome to meetings 8 a.m. Wednesdays next to the Rotary Peace Garden, 11250 Highway 1 in downtown Point Reyes Station, online at westmarinrotary.org. And this is KWMR and Stephen Hurwitz, Shelley Rugg. M.K. Chandler and Paul Raffel are here, and we're talking about something we know very little about, <laughs> <laughs> virtue signaling. Why should this I'm be not, any different from any I'm other I'm not show? sure there's a lot to know about it. Oh, yeah, that right. may be why we don't know very much about right. it. Yeah. It seems like it's it's kind of splitting hairs about uh, things you don't want to hear if someone expresses uh, uh, virtues, morals, or or political or religious uh, positions mm-hmm. that you don't agree with, then you don't want to hear it. Well, so you can shut them down by saying, "Yeah, yeah yes, very cute thing." Like, oh, this is this is our new shutting them down <laughs> tool, right? Yeah, I think yeah. That's... Politically correct was actually look designed at your for virtue that. signaling. Okay, well, you know, it made me think about other kinds of signaling, like you know, I don't know, people who. Uh, maybe uh, speak disparagingly about their own selves because they want someone else to say something nice about them. Do you know anybody like that? Um, like humble sure. bragging, that's yeah. a thing, right? I had an old friend who mm. uh, I, I met after 12 years, and I said, gee, you look great. I was waiting for her. <laughs> to you were waiting for the, the response? <laughs> exactly. Oh, quid pro nothing, quo. Nothing. nothing came back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you're going blind. <laughs> Aw. What about me? Call in, I look people. Great? Call in and give Stephen a compliment. Please. Yes. He's I signaling mean, that he needs. Call, call in and contradict me. Contradict me. I've only stroking. had two so far today. I need, I've got a quote I I love reach. your colors, Stephen. Oh, I was Thank just going to say that. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. All right. You're, You're very great mic yeah. That's right. You're very south of the border. I shaved today, so. <laughs> oh. Oh, look. More than you can say, Paul. Yeah, I, I haven't <laughs> shaved since 19... 1972. Wow. You know, I, we you don't know, even getting, know what he looks like. Getting back to virtuous, though, I think that uh, <laughs> my theory is that we do uh, whatever make us feel good. I mean, really, those are the choices we make. And I think that feeling virtuous... Uh, makes us feel good, or, or better, to make you feel better than you've origi- then, than you so, were feeling. Mm. Not necessarily to to good. It takes a while. 
you got to do it a lot to get to, get to good. <laughs> okay. Just a thought. <laughs> <laughs> is it just it, is is virtue signaling just another ad hominem attack? That's the uh, that's well. I the think question. it's kind of a bummer to hear this term, you know, virtue signaling when when like like Stephen was saying, you know. Greta says, we need to talk about this. We need to share the information so that more people know about it, so that Mm. there's more people coming on board to address the problem and add their their helping. Maybe they'll become a, a virtue signaler. Like a you know a dog whisperer or a horse whisperer. Or a... <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be a profession. Well, she of course has been uh, accused of grandstanding, uh, moral grandstanding, virtue signaling. I guess you could call it. But I think it's coming out of a feeling of desperation, hmm. and it's like you know I don't care if you think I'm doing that. I'm going to do it anyway because mm-hmm. otherwise, <laughs> what who do we else got? is going to do it? What do we got? We have, we're, you know, we've done a really good job at de- a lot of destruction. Oh yes, on this planet. Yes, and, it's uh, uh, it's actually getting worse. It, it it's not it's not even getting better. We're we're not even heading in the right direction. When you got this guy over down in Brazil, what he's up to, and you've got mm. what uh, the uh, this current government's doing in terms of. Uh, gutting uh, environmental protections, etc. It's actually oh, it's much worse. It's worse. I mean, can you imagine wanting to uh, reduce the gas mileage? Uh, it's yeah. just a gift to the oil it, companies. It's just oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of a sick situation. That's that's true. I mean, we yeah. can name endless endless things, but uh, we're all involved in it. Let's face it; we're all we virtue are. signaling. I'm getting on a plane tomorrow morning. There you go. Oh no, she's unvirtuous. <laughs> but even Greta said, "Of course, it would be ridiculous for everyone to take a sailboat across the Atlantic or up the coast to Seattle." Well, uh, you know, so. Of course, everyone isn't going to do what she did. Yeah, that but wasn't the point of it. Oh, I but see what you're saying. We can make personal choices that, if if it was as widespread as it needs to be, it would make a difference. Right. If everybody did and it, and I think, I mean, my proposal would be that we don't have to make a radical change in our lives immediately. What we need to do is be aware of the decisions we're making, and choose. To do to make those changes moderately, incrementally, and uh, just for example, take flying. Okay, uh, nobody says uh, you can't fly. I mean, people are flying. It's part of who we are and what our personal needs are at this moment. But do we have to fly as much as we do? Uh, do we have to? Uh, uh, maybe we don't. Maybe maybe we can uh, we can say okay. Uh, I, I I just don't want to go Thanksgiving and Christmas to visit my mm. my relatives or mm. whatever it is, or I can do business on the phone uh, this time. Right. I don't business have to, travel. I, I don't have to do that. Just in small, these days where you can do everything on the computer, small and incremental changes, FaceTime, whatever it, it's called. Now we could completely stuff. phase out humans. Ah, and never now then. Now then, well then the planet will be happy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, each American, though, is equivalent to about, you know, 20 people in an underdeveloped nation in terms of our uh, consumption of environmental damage that we do. So we could be one of the more populated countries on the planet when you consider uh, our what we use of the planet, how we affect the planet. Hmm. We're doing our bit and more. <laughs> We're using it all up now. The faster we... Oh, oh pro the pro <laughs> Not that. So, virtue signaling. Is it a bad thing or a good thing? Or a doesn't a matter thing? thing? Just... I think if it makes you feel good, then do it. To signal your virtue. Yeah. Hmm. I think what ma- I think we, whatever makes you feel good is really what it's about. And if it makes you feel good to hate, 
Well, then that's why people hate it. Makes them feel good. Mm. Mm. No, um, call, call and contradict me, please. <laughs> Why, well, <laughs> please? Yeah, please call in four one five six six three. What else do I have to say to get eight four nine two or eight three one seven? There's religious uh, virtual signaling, of course. Oh my gosh. Mm, I, uh, yes, I've experienced that. Because uh, you know you have to be you have to signal to your fellow believers in your in your uh, whatever they call it the, well, the flock. Yeah, I was going to say, in a way, it's as moral birds as of a are, feather flock together, yeah. right? If right. you you say, well, this is what I think about that, there's a caller, it looks like. Oh, great. Um, then you'll <laughs> attract like-minded people. And misery loves company. As and there's know. that, you know. So it's a way of, of identifying who you you might be aligned with. Yeah. Yes, of course. It's like wearing a uniform, a moral uniform. Caller, you're on the air. What's your name, please? I'd rather uh, maintain my anonymity. You'll see why in a minute. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't I, wait. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to advertise to the world as a, a, a example of the subtleties and uh, uh, shades of uh, virtuous uh, advertising, how great it was to have a, a bubble bath with Paul Raffel the other night. What? And I want to. I want to. Whoa! Uh, Steve, Whoa! Uh, now was, that is uh, virtuous. Steering me in his direction, Steve was certainly <laughs> glowing with ambition and delight. There you are. Uh, I'm not sure what that's signaling. <laughs> <laughs> Cleanliness. Cleanliness. But I, you know, I've just, I'm just. This is a heartfelt message to all of my friends and, and consumers of Paul Rafael that it's well worth the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I uh, couldn't you explain that uh, the email? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Well, uh, you, you know, I, I also feel virtuous because I think I'm the only person to fo- phone in uh, during this hour. And yes, yes that's are. right. You are very virtuous. And so, um, in that spirit, I will uh, continue on making my uh, annual pledges to. Uh, this wonderful radio station. Yay, thank you. Ah, you could tip us you. if you'd like. I do, want my, uh, I do want my premium again this year, which is another bubble bath. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, oh, you know, this is yeah. the first time hearing about Paul's bubble bath. Uh, well, I feel a well, little left out. I, I think the purpose of this call is to let the larger world know about this extraordinary service you provide. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, it, thank you for spreading that. Has that bubbles, has that been animal <laughs> tested? Or? Yeah, yeah it's, actually, animals, it's actually bubbly. It's a bathtub uh, yeah, solution. Paul, you're on. It's up to you to explain this. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, whoever you are. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Anonymous. That was weird. Oh, we got fuzzy... Yeah, all of a sudden it just went pop and then fuzz. We've got fuzziness going on. Hello. Mm, mm, sorry. Uh, sorry, listeners. We have, uh, you can probably hear that crackly Ooh. noise. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't hear it. No? It's a, it's subtle, but it, 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 it kind of right. came on all of a sudden. There was a huh. little pop and then. So, anyway. virtue signaling. Well, I'm not well, really. Oh, there it, we go. it stopped. It just went off. So the opposite of virtue signaling (laughs) is apparently advertising non-existent bubble baths. (laughs) As a premium, did I offer a bubble bath as a premium? Good heavens. I don't think so. Hmm. You have a nice bathtub? Uh, We do have a nice bathtub with a Ah. dripping faucet, so I have to fix that. Uh, Perhaps later today. Uh Uh-huh. That's my well, virtue. Is. I can fix things. Yeah, that is a good virtue. Are, are you guys going to go see um, Christmas, Christmas Carol, Carol on, on I um, want to really Saturday, much. December 14th? I better get my ticket. Paul, you're going to be in it. KWMR invites you to a Christmas Carol Saturday, December 14th at Toby's Feed Barn in downtown Point Reyes Station. Uh, doors open at 4, show is at 5 p.m. And there will be great refreshments. There will be... Uh, beverages of all kinds and some tasty sweet meats. Wow! Provided I, by uh, wonderful chefs. And I heard there hmm. would be oysters, and that could be. Yeah, probably. 
Uh, proceeds benefit KWMR, this wonderful station of ours. Uh, tickets are on uh, kwmr.org or at Eventbrite, but go to kwmr.org and just click on the link. It'll take you right there. And uh, and tickets are selling quite fast. Really? So. Oh, yeah, and tomorrow is the Path of Lights. Is that tomorrow? Down here in Point Reyes ah, from 5 that? to 7.30. What's the path of light? What is it? Yeah. Uh, they light the trees? Yeah. You know, it used to be the tree that's between the market <laughs> and the bank would yeah. get oh, yeah, covered sure. with yeah. big lighting things and, and get lit right. that night. And the Dance Palace has a crafts fair happening. There's things happening at Toby's. Um, uh, there's some pozole is going to be sold that night. Candles in paper bags up and down the street, unless candles it's raining, I'm guessing. Well, so guess what? Tomorrow is supposed to be rain and wind. Oh, it just did it again. I'm wondering Isn't if it's... interesting? It may be It's one of the headsets or something. One of the headsets. Uh, uh, well. Yeah, so there's supposed to be rain and wind, but I'm going to be down at Gallery Route 1 uh-huh. making ornaments, and I invite people to come and join me and... Um, we're going to make ornaments. That sounds oh, like so much lovely. fun. And and buttons. You can, you know, make your own little pin, button pin. Does whether you say route or route, depending well, on where you grew up? You know, I always say route. I do, too. So do I. I'm English. Route one. Yeah, me, too. Ah. I just heard a route, though. Yeah, but well, there are people who say route. You know, it's route one. There's also point raise or point raise. I grew up saying aunt, but I've noticed that... Uh, aunt? <laughs> aunt. Yeah, a lot of people go auntie. My auntie, my aunt. Instead of my aunts. Yeah, my uh-huh. aunt. aunt. Yeah, I, ours <laughs> East Coast was always aunt. Mm. Yeah. yeah. In particular, people from the uh, the Black South say aunt. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course, uh, let's talk about accents, uh, British accents. As <laughs> you know, there used to be uh, every 10 miles, there'd be a whole different accent. And... Uh, a lot of that was about virtue signaling because ah, you'd have yes. to be able to talk like that, and that would mean that you'd gone to the right schools, probably, and, and, uh, oh. and you were a member of the upper crust, and uh, therefore they're all born with an underbite. Therefore, worthy to be uh, in government, uh, like Boris. Ah. Oh well, 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 let's see how the but when that is, is the election that's coming up this weekend. Because uh, you know, in the the black community, there there has been talk about this in the past about how people talk, and that if they don't talk black, <laughs> then they're talking more like a white person. That that black people might look down on them. And so they have different ways of talking depending on who they're hanging out with. Oh, sure. Well, I think, yeah, that makes sense, though. Yeah. It's a dialect. There, You know, there are lots of dialects of English. And yeah. and um, They signal. A, it's a real signal. It is a real signal. I grew up knowing those signals innately, I guess. I oh, and there's also um, clothing signals, what we wear mm-hmm. or what we drive, those kind of Certainly signals, that. right? Yeah. Well, if you when you get your speech, which is about two years old, um, if you're exposed to a lot of different languages at that point, you will be bilingual. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the time to do it. There's this real sensitivity to language. Yeah, then so. I wish I had been exposed. Me too. I, I my parents spoke a second language, and they um, they didn't pass it on to me. I've never forgiven them for that. What language was it? Yiddish. Oh. Mm. And uh, hey, if you've got it's a it's an asset. It's valuable to have uh, to be uh, bi or trilingual. I mean, I know somebody that speaks three or four languages. Yeah. She just has that facility. I wish I you know I wish yeah. I had more language, especially I Spanish. I admire that too. Spanish would be the most important for me right now. It's it's very virtuous. <laughs> to uh, to speak other people's <laughs> to speak languages, mu- of course, multiple it's languages. A yeah, it broadens our horizons from and now on, our we have abilities to, put up with this. to connect. <laughs> <laughs> our virtue signaling. What no, is, we're just going to talk about it for today. <laughs> what is not virtue signaling? Really? Ah, there you go. Yeah, or signaling anyway. It's is everything signal. we do about signaling? Uh, uh, in, to uh, a certain degree, I think. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, as you said, drive the car you drive and yeah. the clothes you wear. That's all about signaling prosperity. Yeah, like and right now, I to mate. I feel like I'm. I'm. <laughs> Sending the wrong signals with the cars I drive. 
I've noticed that, actually. <laughs> I've thought about it several times. About the signal I'm sending? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you driving, a Hummer? Well, <laughs> what is there? Uh, a Honda Pilot, which is an SUV. Oh, well. And you the, my the, the only good thing about it is I bought it used, so, you know, so I no did that. New, That's no my virtue signaling. Metal. I there bought a used go. car. I yeah. I suggest everyone, if you're in the market for a car, buy a used. Buying used previously cars. Owned. Yes, previously owned. Saves the planet. I think yes. you need a bumper sticker that said, I bought used, why don't you? Oh, there you go. go. Steven, that's your brilliant, kiddo. Just kiddo. Oh, gonna make oh, my God. A, a virtue product. signaling bumper stickers are the perfect example of virtue ah, signaling. Oh, <laughs> yes. Where you just... That's if that's all you do, you just stick something on your car that says "One love us all, love everyone, and and the world will be a better place." Yeah, and that's a you good know, point. Then you're, though. then you're you've done your job. You're doing road rage. Well, you know, <laughs> you're communicating. <laughs> you know, you're, you're sharing. Communicating a lovely you're message. sharing messages. Yeah, and I think that does matter. You know, um, I don't think it needs a name though. Mm. Oh, virtue signaling, yeah. and I don't mm. think it should be. Uh, a pejorative necessarily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. We've solved the Taken virtue signal. There you go, Mr. One. Whoever invented Check. this. James Bartholomew. Right. right. It is. Uh, it, it, it's because we really, signal everything. It's really part of the reaction to uh, political correctness, which um. uh, which they which uh, let's say conservatives tend to see in everything. Uh, you know, to or me, it seems like political correctness is really more about. Being polite and respectful mm-hmm. to whoever we're communicating with, mm-hmm. and people who don't want to be polite and respectful want to be able to call people names, and mm. I don't think that's very virtuous. <laughs> so uh, the showing lack of virtue is also yeah. what is the opposite of virtue? We were asking that. Right. Oh, I don't know. I closed so up lack, my computer. So lack of virtue, you know. <laughs> You know, Call in with the with the right? with the antonym of virtue. When you're you you want to put other people down. Well, they're talking about morality, so isn't the opposite of morality immorality? No, yeah, perhaps so. Immoral? I don't know. Signaling signaling my oh, immorality. There we go. Ah, Somebody's calling to someone. tell us what it means. Hello, caller. You're on the air. What's your name, please? It's Lyons. Hi, Lyons. Hi, Lyons. Hey there, girl. And um, I would like to. V- signal my virtue in the <laughs> car realm. I'm driving a 28-year-old vehicle. Ooh. It's a Geo <laughs> Prism with a right. Toyota engine in it. Right. Wow. Same engine. Geo over 220,000 miles on that. You are so <laughs> virtuous. Wow. Ooh. I will get <laughs> down and... <Bad> mileage. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss the ground you walk on. Absolutely. <laughs> we worship you now. Absolutely. We aren't worthy. Yeah, I, you know, I I think bottom line, I I agree with MK. You know, somebody's got too much time on their hands. <laughs> Get into this kind of anal Perhaps that's us here. Mike, thank you, Lions. These yeah. Thursdays yeah. between like, twelve and one. Excuse me, don't you have anything better to do? No kidding. <laughs> it, it's it's over analyzing. In, in Go churn some t- butter. <laughs> Yeah, You're taking anyway. that to heart, Paul, when you pick. No, I, I, I think that's very valid. I think it is splitting hairs and overanalyzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Picky, so, picky, picky. Go out and see the Christmas uh, Christmas Carol at Toby's on December fourteenth, and get over your uh, yes. virtue signaling. There's some. There's <laughs> be f- virtuous and buy tickets to the virtual event that supports KWMR. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Well, and it's such a great cozy community thing to do oh, gathering in the barn yeah. sitting on the hay bale yeah. drinking a hot toddy yeah. make sure you wear a warm jacket watching the warm kids jacket. crawling all over the hay bales yeah, yeah. hoping it's they wonderful. don't fall it's wonderful i love it <laughs> squash between them. <laughs> love it Hug all right <sighs> rubbing yes. shoulders and elbows yeah yeah exactly right. we'll see you all uh, on the 14th if not before <laughs> for sure thanks thank you lads and that was Lyons Filmer, our fabulous programming director here. And, uh, yes, Christmas Carol, I'll be uh, in that. See if you can recognize me in that. Uh, Tiny show. Tim. We are, you be wearing a, are you going to be wearing a mask? No, no. You, no. You're going to get it shorter? Be... <laughs> are you going to say? Why, why will it be business? hard to recognize you? How do I know Mankind that people know what business. I look like? I don't know. 
just I'm on the air. The common, oh, common oh, good was my business. The listeners might not recognize you. <laughs> The chain I forged Well, in he's... Life. That's it. That's my very speech. He's about 5'6", has life. red hair. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he did. Used to. Um, oh. th- uh, this has been... Let's it's been <laughs> Should we wrap have it up? Have we come to the end of this <laughs> virtuous road? <laughs> I We're think go uh, out virtuous now. I think it's time yeah. to uh, time to shut this one down and uh, <laughs> hand over to <laughs> Julie you. Motz, who is back today, which is lovely. Um, so, uh, thank you to all our call, well, both of our callers, <laughs> and, and thank one you of to our MK callers for, here, for here. being Live here in the studio. I'll go home and call next week before <laughs> I'm not seeing the Christmas Carol. It'll be a very sad uh, call. Well. Talk about something sad next week, okay? So okay, you can something cry. sad. <laughs> uh, and thank you to everybody for listening. Uh, we know you're out there. Uh, tune in every Thursday. We do appreciate the uh, the voices over the phone. KWMR does not take a stand on any of the issues discussed on Let's Talk. Opinions expressed on this program are those of the hosts and callers and don't necessarily reflect the views of KWMR, its board of directors, underwriters, or members. This has been Let's Talk for December the 5th. And uh, we'll be back next Thursday with another show. Meanwhile, here's a short track that that is all about virtue signaling. Bye for now. Thursday.